many times I have not wanted to be alive. I've probably got two weeks of this. Depression, um, anxiety, suicidal Suicide thoughts. Ideation. I feel like I want to die. Hopeless and lost and... Debilitating. <sighs> Tiring. This is every single month that this happens and it's all to do with my periods. I just can't cope. Being suicidal. Yeah. So, yeah, this is something that PMDD can do and generally this is for one to two weeks of every single month. Every single month of my life. I'm Dr Hannah Short and I know what PMDD is like. I'm now run a clinic trying to help women who are going through it. PMDD is an extreme form of premenstrual syndrome or PMS but many people have not heard of it. However it is estimated to affect around 1 in 20 women. I had a full hysterectomy with both ovaries removed. I had to fight to have this operation because a girl at 38 years old, why would she want to have this operation and put herself in additional risks? I do know that my treatment that turned off my ovaries and put me into a chemical menopause and then my surgery which removed my reproductive organs, I do know that that surgery did 100% save my life. At the moment, I am on HRT at the age of 27. The condition is recognised by the World Health Organisation, but there's not enough awareness of how severe it can be or how we can treat it. He basically told me it's just PMS and we don't know what causes PMS, so there's nothing I can really do, um, but eat more soy and take evening primrose oil. And I was just sitting there thinking, I was crying at the time as well, and I just thought, I've just told you that I was suicidal, and this is what you're, you're telling me to do, eat more soy. I've been given a lot of leaflets about PMS and having a bar and smelling some lavender, having some chocolate, cuddling a dog, I mean, standard. Um, those are all really nice activities, but they're not recognised or known treatments for suicidal ideation. And I had to repeat myself 17 times to the crisis team explaining what my condition was. Now, someone who's just attempted to take their life had to explain 17 times what the condition is. Now, that is completely unacceptable. For me, getting a diagnosis pretty much saved my life. The relief in knowing that it's not I my fault. the gynaecologist saying, yeah, I know what PMDD is, and I just thought, oh my God. But now I have my life back. I just want everybody out there who is suffering alone, please don't, please reach out. There's support available. There are treatments that work for many people. There are so many of us out here.